Hey guys, Pavwash2012 here, and welcome to today's special, my top 5 weirdest and funniest autographing moments. I've been collecting autographs for the past 5 years, and in those 5 years, boy have I seen some weird things. Today I showcase my 5 weirdest autographs. Okay, so, we're going to start at number 5. Number 5 came earlier this year, um, actually it was the fall of last year, fall 2012, when I met the lead singer of the band Gaslight Anthem, Brian Fallon, at a private show. Brian Fallon, obviously, they had posters there, and uh, Brian Fallon signed the poster right there for me, this is the band's poster. Um, however, in order for me to attend that concert, I had to skip my philosophy class. Now my philosophy class, is, my teacher was a really hip guy and whatnot, so I figured Hmm, if I could get Brian Fallon to sign a note to get me out of philosophy class, my teacher would accept it. So that's what I did. On my way there, I wrote up a note that said, Dear Professor Feigenbaum, Please excuse Pat Walsh from class today, because he was seeing Gaslight Anthem perform at a private concert. So Brian Fallon signs my poster, I hand him the note, ask him to sign it, and he laughs, and he says, Sure, right, whatever, he signs it. Then his photographer didn't get a picture of it as he was doing it, so he goes, Oh, Brian, could you sign it again? I missed it. No! You never do that! But what happens? Brian signs it over it. So now, I have to give my teacher a note, getting me out of philosophy class, signed by the singer of a band, twice. And he didn't sign next to it. He signed over it, twice, in silver sharp, on white piece of paper. Hideous. Horrible. I don't want to talk about it. Whatever. So that's number five. Ryan Fallon of Gaslight Anthem. Number four goes to the mayor of Salt Lake City, Utah, Ralph Becker. I sent Ralph Becker an email in about, uh, I'd say, 2010 asking him for an autographed photo. I received a letter back from Ralph Becker saying, Enclosed is your autographed photo, as well as a photograph of him unsigned. You see, you said that there was an autograph photo, but you, you didn't get one, so... So I actually, I mailed the photo back with the letter, told him he made a little mistake, and I did get it back signed in the smallest signature possible, thank you. But, uh... Well, look, his shirt blends into my shirt, it's like he's growing out of my shoulder. Ah! Uh, no, but, yeah. So this is number four, Ralph Becker for sending me an unsigned photo that claimed was signed. Okay. Number three goes to TV show, dude, skateboarder, whatever he is, Bam Margera. Uh, I sent Bam Margera an autograph request. I um, asked him to sign an index card and send me a couple photos. I didn't know what kind of photos he was going to send, so I just included a uh, envelope and money for postage because... This was before I realized you could put postage on the envelope, inside the envelope. I was young. I was young, let it go. So I sent Van Margera a dollar bill from the paper postage, and he took it upon himself to autograph the dollar bill and to face government property, which I'm sure he didn't mind doing. But this was supposed to pay for postage, but now I have a dollar bill autographed by Van Margera. Cool. Okay, number two. Oh, here's a beauty. This is from um, baseball player Jorge Cantu. I sent this to him when he was with the Marlins. Um, this is a photo of a Marlins license plate that says Champs. Um, for some unknown re reason, Jorge Cantu personalized this to Pat Walsh and Patrick Walsh. Signed it Jorge Cantu with a number three. And then signed it again? I think? I don't even know. That might not even be his right there. Because it looks nothing like... I mean, the C's kind of... The C's alike, but I don't know what, what the hell that is. Or the three's down there in quotations. Now it's next to his name. I don't know what happened here. This is just weird. To Pat Walsh and Patrick Walsh. It's like I'm freaking Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde or something. I don't know what this is. Thanks, Jorge. Last but not least, 
my number one weirdest, funniest autograph. I sent an autograph request to Chicago White Sox outfielder Brent Littlebridge. I sent him a mini pendant. Oh, it was supposed to be the shape of a mini pendant. I guess it is. And a little custom photo card of his. But for some reason, he signed the pennant. Brent Lillard signed the pennant. Chicago White Sox infielder Chris Getz, for some reason, signed my photo card of Brent Lillard backwards. I don't. I, I don't know what what to say. I asked Brent Lillard to sign both. For some reason, Chris Getz signs this backwards in kid's handwriting. I can't get over this. This is just the weirdest thing I've ever seen. If you could have seen my face the day I opened this, I think I cried. I may have cried how weird it was. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching my top five weirdest and funny autographs. I'm uh, currently working on getting together the top 25 funniest in-person autograph moments that I can find on YouTube. So if any of you know a funny in-person story or video on YouTube, uh, send it to me. I've already got about 15 different videos I found online of uh, funny in-person autographs, and then I'll release them five at a time, so like 25 to 20, etc., all the way down to five to one. So yeah, that'll be fun. Check them out. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little special. Woo!